All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So here today is a very momentous day in crypto, the Bitcoin block reward having in just over an hour. So my thoughts regarding that, as well as some news from Cardano, IOHK giving a big shout out to the pool pioneers who have just today started building the first Shelly Haskell testnet node. So my thoughts regarding that, as well as an update for the Cardano ambassador program from the Cardano Foundation. So phase two is underway where the rewards have now been funded using ADA. So we're going to be talking about all of that here in this video. So stay tuned. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having a great day. I wanted to just say this is an exciting moment for crypto. I know myself personally and many of you in the community this is gonna be your first Bitcoin halving since your time within the crypto space. So it's a very momentous day. You know, just wanted to share with you guys some of my thoughts regarding how we can anticipate this playing out over time. So what we experienced in regards to price, let's actually take a look at trading view here. If we go over to the daily, right now we're on the weekly, we did have quite a bit of buy the rumor, sell the news kind of happen here as we saw the price go all the way up to touching almost 10K. And then here we are right uh, the day of the halving, we can see that we had quite the dip dropping all the way back to 8,600. So I think that what we saw in anticipation for the halving was a bit of buy the rumor and sell the news. And how I'm looking at this from a longer term time perspective, here we are on the weekly. You know, I think that where we're at currently, a lot of people are looking at this as forming a, like a triangle. So I'm gonna see if I can draw this trend line here. And, you know, I do have to agree. I know Data Dash did a great video explaining how he's looking at these technical patterns. As we can see, we had some clear resistance up at the top and we came even to touch it over here as well before getting rejected. So now this is the weekly candle here that we're seeing currently forming. Um, and I've got the hike and ashy pulled up just because as far as visualizing whether the price is going to go up or down, you know, I like to look at green and red. It makes things very simple for me. So this currently is not a bullish weekly candle in my perspective. And we can see here also this drop in volume. We had a climax in volume here followed by this wick that got rejected on some key technical resistance. So as far as what I'm looking at in regards to price, you know, I'm anticipating that we come back down to maybe touch this 8,000 to $7,000 region before making our way up higher. In the instance that we do start to charge forward here, we definitely have to get past that 10K. That is a key level of resistance to break before being able to come back and test this line of resistance again as support. So that's what I'm looking at as far as price playing out over time. You know, I do think that we will gradually see an increase in price. However, that's not something I'm anticipating happening over the next week or two. I, I feel like it's gonna take many months for us to do that. So that is my thoughts regarding Bitcoin and the Bitcoin halving. Uh, for those of you who's uh, experiencing the halving for the first time, I'm right there with you. It's gonna be an awesome thing to be able to experience with you guys. Next thing in the news, we're gonna be taking a look at IOHK coming out and saying a big shout out to all the pool pioneers who are getting the first Shelly Haskell testnet node off the ground. So we can see here they've tagged quite a few stake pool operators. Big shout out to all you guys. You do great work for the community. Very grateful to be able to look up to you as far as being able to operate one of these stake pools. It's a tremendous responsibility and a huge privilege to be able to participate. So hope everything goes well with this. Look forward to updates regarding the Haskell testnet when it does become available for the entire stake pool community. I will be keeping you guys updated with all that. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date. And then what I wanted to share with you all as well, so talking about the Cardano Ambassador Program, recently the Cardano Foundation came out and saying that they were gonna proceed with phase two for the ambassador program, which is where they would incentivize ambassadors with rewards. And we can see here from this article, they've went ahead and gone through the process of funding several wallets by moving ADA that has been portioned for this purpose. So it's very nice to see that if you are 
intending on creating content and you know creating value in terms of being able to bring awareness and adoption behind Cardano, you're gonna be able to receive payment in the form of ADA. So I really like how they're trying to keep everything within the ecosystem. I really do appreciate that. I think that this is gonna be a great step towards the adoption of Cardano. So guys, quick update video here today. I hope you guys are all doing well. That's pretty much what I have for you here in the news. One thing I did wanna ask you guys, I know you all are eagerly anticipating Shelly. What is your favorite wallet? I wanna start providing content for you guys, talking about tutorials, how-to videos. I know you guys have been enjoying those. For those of you subscribers out there, thank you so much for all the feedback. I wanna know, as far as the transition over into Shelly, what types of wallets are you gonna be using? I'm gonna leave a poll here for you guys in this video. Go ahead and let me know what is your favorite Cardano wallet. I'm gonna be doing my best to go ahead and provide as much content around that platform so that new users can have the best experience when we do see Shelly on mainnet. So that is it for this video here today, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys could, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like for me. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.